Hey guys, so uh, yes, the lighting's worse than usual. I can't seem to find a place to set up today, so I'm just gonna do it. I've been meaning to do a little vlog about my Indie Pop Con geek haul, which isn't a whole lot of stuff. It's mostly freebies, some adverts, and you know, just little things I thought would need or whatever. And I didn't get a lot of the stuff I probably could have because I was busy doing other stuff, taking a lot of pictures, sitting in up the Q and A's, and just getting a feel for everything. Um, so last, not last week, and the weekend before last was Indie Pop Con's first year convention it was really great convention but and this is their program guide i love the cover check that out isn't that neat the artist was there selling the pictures i had no money so i couldn't afford anything that's why this is all freebies did i say that i don't know i'm gonna show you um they had wristbands i unfortunately missed one of popcon's wristbands they had other ones too that were in, like came from other places but their category wristbands the sci-fi um, gaming. It was the, I think the art and music one I missed. Cosplay. Internet. And of course, internet has a kitty cat because the internet is made up of cats. Uh, TV and movies. Anime. What's this one? Comics. And this one is fantasy. Alright, so those are the PopCon wrist bands my cat just scared me because she jumped up behind me um and this was a tattoo popcorn tattoo so i have those i have here a little button walking dead um there's that there is i think now i went to, i was you know talking to the different podcasters and whatnot and now i can't remember i got this cd of some of their episodes i think it was these guys because unfortunately they didn't put the name on the CD. So, um, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, okay, what else? There's this, like, uh, postcard. That's what it is. I couldn't think of what it was called. <laughs> it's a postcard. And there's this picture, which is really cool. And I'm going to put this somewhere. And I'm sorry, I never have enough space to show you guys things. There was this free comic I got when I was walking around. It's a uh, Grim Fairy Tale Dark Queen. It was a one-shot comic, I think, or at least this was. And I think it continued in another form. I don't know. And this is a little sample comic thing for from IDW. Um, what else? Oh, here's more things. I stopped to buy the Heroes Wanted. We played Heroes Wanted before, and it was at a PopCon event before the um, actual convention. But yeah, so I got a couple of buttons. I got Heroes Wanted and Action Phase, which are the ones who were making the game. And a, I think this is a sticker. And I got a bunch of other stickers from them. Little thingy, majigger thingies. I, you know what, my brain, you know me if you've watched any of these videos before. I never know what I'm saying. Um, what else? Oh, there was one more thing I was going to show you. This I did buy. I didn't buy it at the convention because I don't think it was there. But um, Nicholas Brendan was at the convention and he just wrote his first issue of the season 10 Buffy comics. So I wanted to pick one up and have him sign it. I don't know if you can see it. It's Unfortunately, he wrote it in a dark marker. You can't really see it unless it's in person. <laughs> it just simply says, and I think he writes this on a lot of people's stuff. He wrote my name and huzzah and his signature. But I bought this one because this was there were two covers. I bought this one because it had Xander on the cover. So of course, I wanted Nicholas Brendan to sign the cover with Xander on it. But, uh, yeah, I, that's pretty much it, guys. And this was longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.